but the, life cannot just be about solving one miserable problem after another. Can't, that can't be the only thing. There need, to be, there need to be things that inspire you, that make you glad to, be, to wake up in the morning and be part of humanity. Hey mates, in this tutorial, we will teach you how to create deep face swapping on Ubuntu with HyperRev Deep Face Lab. Please notice that before starting this lab, you should set up your environment by installing the needed packages. Click on the link in the description for part one of this series. It will show you how to install the needed packages and setting up Ubuntu before beginning this tutorial. As you can see, we will use two videos the source and destination video. The files have to be the exact same names. However, the file extension does not have to be MP4. You can use any video file type. Let's install VLC player in order to watch the videos before we begin. Now let's view the source video that we will use its face for the new video we will generate. Okay, now that it's finished, let's view the destination video. If you want, you can also view the videos from the graphical interface. Let's navigate to the lab folder we have created on video part 1 that explains how to set up the environment. Now let's create wo the workspace folder. Please note that I gave all the files and folder we use in this lab the maximum permissions of read, write and execute because sometimes the script won't run due to permission issues. Security wise it is less safe but work smoothly. Let's copy the source and destination videos we want to use to the workspace folder and give them full permissions. A side note, if you copy a workspace folder from other OS or system and you want to continue working from where you have stopped in order to save some AI learning time, it can be done. However, you should give the files on the workspace folder the correct permissions as well. Now, let's activate Anaconda environment we have created for DeepFace Lab. Basically, it's the shell environment that contains all the packages we need to run the lab. Please watch part 1, link in the description, for setting up Anaconda environment for DeepFace Lab. Let's go. Now, let's navigate to the script folder and run file number 2, extract image from data source. Press enter a couple of times. And at the end, each frame will be saved as PNG image under the directory workspace data source. Now do the same in the script folder for file number 3, extract images from data destination. Press enter a couple of times and each frame will be saved as image under the workspace destination folder as well. Okay, next step, please run script number four, data source extracts frames S3FD in order to align all the faces from the frames we already released at the previous steps.
Please notice that I am using the CPU limit command in order to limit the CPU max usage to prevent any damage by overheating. Basically, you need to get the process number and set the max percentage you want to use for each one of them and monitor the CPU temp with the command watch minus D sensors. However, it is not necessary if your machine have enough proper cooling. Press enter a couple of times and let the script run. As you can see, I am using the processes ID I got from the top command in order to limit the CPU usage of Python scripts. As well, I'm running the watch minus D sensors command to monitor the CPU temperature. All is left is to wait till the script finish and we will get all the aligned faces images out of the source video frames. After the script has finished running, the aligned faces images are located under folder workspace data source aligned. The next step is to align the destination video faces out of the destination video frames. Please run script number 5, data destination extract faces, S3FD. Press enter a couple of times to load the default values and let it run. As you can see, I'm using the processes IDs I got from the top command in order to limit the CPU usage of Python scripts. As well, I'm running the watch minus D sensors command to monitor the CPU temperature. All left is to wait till the script finish and we will get all the aligned faces images out of destination video frames. You do not need to limit the CPU usage if your CPU or GPU have a proper cooling. Now we are going to run script number 6 called train quick 96 and the AI will start learning the new face to create from the aligned images we have created before. Let it run and you can always refresh the screen by pressing E note the letter P, P as for Papa. Also, you can press enter and stop the learning and continue later on by running the script again. The more learning cycles, the better results. As you can see, I stop after around 70,000 learning cycles. Okay, next step. After the learning time, please run script number 7 called March Quick 96 and press enter. With your permission, I will use now a part of one of my previous videos, link in the description, that elaborates this part of the lab and explain in depth how to fine tune the new face to fit on the new destination video in the best way. Here we go. Press enter a couple of times to load the default setting. You will see a keyboard on the screen and if you press tab you will see a preview of the first frame of the march video you can press tab to switch between the windows and on the command line on the left you will see the settings of each frame now we're going to fine tune each frame to fit exactly on the face please note that if the first frame is dark blur unclear or cover there is no point to work on this frame just click greater than key in order to move to the next frame if you click on keynote s you can see the face is getting wider if you click on keynote w you can see that the face is getting narrower
so click on w or s a couple of times until the value erode mask modifier will get to around 20 cool that's look just fine and natural now click keynote letter e couple of time until you see the value blow mask modifier arrive to around 100 cool that's look just fine and natural if you pass the number of the value you're looking for you can always press keynote letter d in order to decrease the value you can click on keynote greater than and progress couple of frames in order to make sure that the face look natural from the other angles As well, you can press the tilde key to see the original face. And then number one, to get back to the overlaid face that we have worked on. Anyway, you can play with that as you want before continuing to the next step. But make sure to go back to the first frame by clicking the keynote smaller than before continuing to the next step. Now the face look quite natural and the next step is to apply those settings that we set on the first frame to all of the other frames. Just click shift and question mark simultaneously to apply those settings on all of the other frames. Well, we didn't finish yet. Now we need to process those value that we have changed on all the other frames please press shift and the keynote greater than simultaneously in order to process the value we set to all of the other frames and when it's finished you can close the windows and continue to the next step now this is the last part we need to merge all the configured and fine-tuned frames to a new video file that will contain the final results Let's open the terminal again, activate our deep face lab anaconda environment and, la and run the last script number 8 called march to mp4 and let it run. And when it finished, all we have to do is to navigate to the workspace environment folder and run the file called result from the CLI or the GUI or as a text to show off your friend. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time and the effort that you took to learn and follow this video if you like the video you are more than welcome to click the like button and subscribe to more content that related to this topic and it will support this channel as well and me i really appreciate that i wish you uh, all the best and have a fantastic day cheers like you all love you all all the best Let's watch the final result. But the life cannot just be about solving one miserable problem after another. Can't, that can't be the only thing. There need, to be, there need to be things that inspire you, that make you glad to, be, to wake up in the morning and be part of humanity. That's why we did this. This guy called Tsiolkovsky, one of the early Russian rocket scientists, the great saying, Earth is the cradle of humanity, but you cannot stay in the cradle forever. It is time to go forth, become a star-faring civilization, be out there among the stars, expand the scope and scale of human consciousness. I, I find that incredibly exciting. Uh, th that makes me glad to be alive. I, I hope you feel the same way. Thank you very much for watching.